and welcome What do you think you're doing? I'm back now. Hello everybody and welcome to the GCN News Show. Hello, welcome back to the GCN News Show. This week, plenty of race reports as top level racing continues down under in Australia. We'll also take a look at the European season as it kicks off in France and Mallorca. And the first ever top level race happens in Dubai. We also take a look at the latest round of the Super Prestige Cyclocross in Belgium. Plus, we've got all of our usual weekly topics, tech, tweet and caption of the week, and a quick look at our GCN Strava Club. GCN has grown quicker than we could have ever imagined and last October we hit the landmark figure of 100,000 subscribers and just four months later we are quickly closing in on double that figure. We are on a big push to get to 200,000 and we need your help. We would like you to share our videos with friends, colleagues, training partners or even family and get them to subscribe to the channel. This is going to benefit you in two ways. Firstly, the more video views we get and the more subscribers we've got, the greater our ability to produce videos on a wide range of cycling topics. Secondly, for those of you who help us with this big subscriber push, we've got a bunch of GCN swag to give away. Randomly selected viewers will be in with a chance of winning GCN t-shirts, bottles and even that all elusive GCN cycling kit. So get onto the social networks, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, forums, even pick up the phone and call your friends. The quicker we get to 200,000 subscribers, the quicker the big giveaway can begin. The inaugural Dubai Tour took place last week, the four-stage event kicking off with a 10.1 km time trial around the city. BMC's Taylor Finney dominated that opening stage, averaging an incredible 490 watts for 12 minutes and beating Stephen Cummings, his teammate, into second place by a full 14 seconds. Best of the rest was Neopro Lassa Norman Hansen of Garmin Sharp in third place. And the event as a whole was dominated by a young generation of riders. Marcel Cattell, who believe it or not is only 25 years of age, took the remaining three road stages on the trot. It marked the first ever overall stage race win for Finney, who at just 23 years of age also won the young riders classification. Matt Stevens was GCN's man on the ground throughout the Dubai Tour and if you haven't already seen our videos, check out the Dubai Tour playlist on our channel. Whilst Kittel amassed the wins in Dubai, his giant Shimano team were even more dominant over at the Women's Tour of Qatar. Kirsten Wheel won three stages and the overall and the other stage, stage two, was won by her teammate Amy Peters who also had a stint in the leader's jersey. This marks nine stage wins for Kirsten in the race and four overall victories. There's only been six additions. We spoke to her earlier on a Google Hangout. Thanks very much for joining us. I think you could say it was quite a successful tour of Qatar for both yourself and the giant Shimano team. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I think before I didn't think about winning um, the overall in some stages. And yeah, it's like a dream. There's only been six editions of the ladies tour of Qatar. You've won two thirds of them. What is its characteristics which suit you so much? Well, it's the flat roads, the windy conditions, the, um, the bonification sprints. But also I think with our team we, we worked a lot um, for this race. We train a lot on the echelons and yeah, I think that, that makes us all together that it suits really well. On to GCN Strava Club now and Durian Ryder, where have you gone? You've disappeared from our leaderboard. Julio Gonzalez now leads the distance ridden at 857 kilometers, whilst top cycling photographer Jared Gruber did the longest ride last week at just under 233 kilometers. Martin Bork came close to 20 kilometers of vertical climbing and leads that distance leaderboard. Member of the week though goes to Hrana Ingemarsson, possibly our northernmost member of the GCN Strava Club. He commutes to work every day despite some occasionally slippery conditions. Our tech news this week comes from Shimano, and it's not a new group set. They are the latest company to weigh in on the sports camera market with their new model, the CM1000. It is both small and lightweight at just 86 grams, and it's aimed at both the cycling and fishing markets. 1080p HD recording will give some great footage, and it's Wi-Fi enabled and also fitted with Ant Plus to allow maximum connectivity with other devices. 
According to Velo News, there are rumours that the UCI are set to allow cameras into the Pro Peloton for the first time, so we could see this device used by the pros very soon. And the product is set to be released in most countries in May. On to Caption of the Week, and we'll begin by announcing last week's competition winner. It came from Ian Scally, who said this. Is that Niels Albert? I see what you did there, Ian. Very clever. On to this week's photo, and it's this one of Marcel Cattell. I'll get you started. Marcel Cattell, I arrest you on suspicion of speeding. In the highly unlikely circumstance that you can do better than that, you can post your caption into the comment section below this video. The first stage races of the year kicked off in Europe last week, starting with the Etoile de Bessege and quickly followed by the Challenge Mallorca. The first stage in France was won by top sport Vlandrin Sander Helven, who was the best of a six-man breakaway. The following three stages were all dominated by the sprinters, Nasser Buani taking stage two and Brian Cockard doubling up by taking stages three and four. The GC though was always going to be decided on the final day, an 11 km time trial, and it was Tobias Ludvigsen who continued Giant Shimano's amazing season, taking the win both on the stage and on the overall competition ahead of his teammate John Dagenkolb. Meanwhile over in Mallorca, the four day event is in fact four one day races back to back. And the first of those couldn't have really been closer, a three up sprint, three riders separated by millimetres and in the end it was Sasha Modolo of Lamprey Merida who came out on top only after a review of the photo finish. On to our latest and greatest feature, selfie of the week. Now we all know Matt Stevens likes to be in the limelight so he was quickly on the bandwagon taking this selfie of himself and GCN creator Phil Goldston behind him the skyline of Dubai. And he was a busy man, Matt, just a couple of months ago at the London Bike Show. He paid Jack Cora to pretend to be a fan taking this picture. Meanwhile, also in Dubai, Imad Nasir Khan took this photo saying, riding in Palm Jumeirah, Dubai. Inspiration, Kittel, and the selfies at Daniel Lloyd 1. Win with GCN. You too can post your pictures up anywhere in the world. If you're on your bike, all the better. We look forward to receiving them. The cyclocross season is now gradually winding down with the penultimate round of the Super Prestige taking place in Hoogstraten on Sunday. Sven Nace of Trek won the race ahead of Van Tornout and Niels Albert. However, the overall series will be decided at the final round, which takes place in Middelkirke. The Australian cycling season continued after the Tour Down Under with the Herald Sun Tour last week. Opening stages dominated by Garmin Sharp with Jack Bau winning the prologue and then stage one taken out by a sprint of Nathan Haas. Stage two, however, was marked by a breakaway and it was Simon Clark of the Orica team who came out on top and thus doing so taking the leader's jersey. The fifth and final stage was cancelled due to the threats of local bushfires, so Simon Clark was crowned the champion of the race with Cameron Worth of Cannondale second at eight seconds. So what's on the channel this week? Well, on Monday we showed you how to make your bike more secure if you're out and about without a lock. On Wednesday we've got our last cyclocross how-to for the winter, this time focusing on techniques for riding in sand. On Thursday, Matt Stevens brings you his top 10 moments from the Dubai Tour. Friday, well, we look at the different power meters currently used by the different pro teams in the peloton. And on Saturday, we take a closer look at the new Mobistar Canyon bike ridden by Javi Moreno. Now it's come to our attention that some of the settings on the YouTube page might have changed. So if you want to make sure that you get an email alert every time we upload a video, never missing one again, here's exactly how to do it. Open up the YouTube homepage on your computer. On the left hand side you'll see a list of headings. At the bottom of those it should say manage subscriptions. Click on that and amongst the channels that you subscribe to will be GCN. Simply click the box which says send me updates. That way you should get an email alert every time and never miss a GCN video again. Tweet of the week this time come direct from Holland where Borka Mollema was obviously watching the Winter Olympics and posted this picture. Celebrating our gold medals with a typical Dutch meal. Mmm. Well that's all for this week but don't forget to share our videos and our channel with everybody that you can. The further our reach the better the videos that we're going to be produced. In the long run everyone's a winner. Where am I throwing you? Onto there? Sorry, yeah. Don't hit your head on the TV right. or something. I'll try not to. Back to far, the line. A three grand joke. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. The spectacular race of contrast. Carbon, lycra and muscle 